Hello everybody and welcome to the second week of playoffs in minor league top plays, the quarterfinals, or more precisely, the equidistant eight. At this stage in the playoffs, due to the reduced number of teams, instead of the top 10 highlights we'll be covering the top 5, so let's jump right into the action with the honorable mentions. First up is Nindroid, a player we've come to expect big things from, who grabs in a crowded base and uses the pooch from the return to propel him just far enough ahead of Noah on the horizontal axis to break home free and score the game winning cap. Then we've got Ooh Killum, who survives a dive bomb from Free Boy Swat by a pixel. The blocks and base are just good enough, and he scores. Back to Nindroid now, who picks up Regrab after his team scores their second cap. He soon finds himself between a rock and a hard place, stuck in their corridor with red walls closing in from both sides, where a return means the enemy caps. But this is Nindroid we're talking about. A return isn't going to be so straightforward. Great job saving your team a cap. Next up, the Evil One, who swoops down for the boost and back up for a very fluid cap-saving sniper turn. Alright, let's move on to the top 5 plays from the Equidistant 8. Number 5 is Unoriginal SN, proving that he too has what it takes to juke out of a very tight spot, taking Calcpi out by the smallest of margins to break away for the cap. Let's take a second look at his micro jukes in the corridor. Number 4. We're watching PK Subal here on Karu's uh, flamboyant stream setup. PK boosts in to knock the defense out of the way for a nice grab and races back to base, where Noah and Terra summarily dispose of the pirate, then intercede between PK and his chasers to buy him just enough time to sneak in. You could call this play calculated. Number 3. This is in the first overtime between the semi robots in blue and the Orza Balls in red, and it's looking like it's going to end in a tie again. But Walrus, who as far as I know is a defensive player, picks up the regrab unaided and confronted by a sea of red balls, and works some serious magic not only to get out of base, but to buy himself enough space that the pressure is off him, and he can float with Stewart in the middle for a power-up that they timed perfectly before bringing the flag home. Then, as Dr. McDonald might say, it's ambulance through traffic time, and Stewart clears a path for Wallers to capitalize on his earlier wizardry. What's more, the tag pro and base is enough to force some quick facets from the Orza Balls, and Panox is able to walk the flag back for a second cap to ensure the overtime victory. This is a testament to what can happen when extraordinary technical skill, the crazy jukes from Walrus, meets intelligent decision making, waiting for the power up in mid and working together as a team to make the cap happen. This is a great play that's overshadowed only perhaps by the unfortunate fact that Tyrus had lagged out. Number 2 features Triple E picking up the flag, juking past the defenders, and using a corner brilliantly to redirect himself ahead of 4. It's not every day that you see a guy so fluidly split 4 defenders. Let's take one more look at that. And now for the number one play of the Equidistant 8. Ukillum is killing it. Ukillum picks up the flag and decides to boost 4, where he inadvertently knocks into one of his own teammates. But both players quickly adjust and JC Money turns around to throw the block Killam needs to make it out. Killam then bounces off a few walls to make some space before making some rapid fire jukes while surrounded by three blue balls to leave the defenders flummoxed and wrong footed as he makes an improbable escape from mid and heads up to number two. At this point, credit goes to the Bob 18 and unoriginal SN who throw down impenetrable blocks for Killam to race in for the first cap of the game. So now we've got the Semi Pro Bots, the FS Ballers, the Small Caps, and Rainball 6 heading into the Foci 4. Tune in next week for the highlights from those semi final matchups. This is Kroski signing off.